do all sorts of crazy things to teachers i'm telling you all sorts of crazy things people used to steal the light bulbs at home people used to damage the garden everything <laughs> in your food, in your trunk is done even the sugar and the soap is done oh <laughs> yo 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 people beat people beat people beat guys people beat if you can't beat don't be talkative don't be pompous people can beat the hell out of you <laughs> Welcome to this edition of my body school experience. So body school has been so stressful. Yeah, it's been so stressful for me. And by the way, I went to Kinshasa secondary school. <laughs> Some of you actually know it, and other others don't know it, but. Yeah, that's a school I went to. It's in Southern Province, Monze. Yeah, so Kinshasa Secondary School has taught me a lot of things. Firstly, don't be fake. If you're going to go to boarding school, don't be fake. You know, in school we used to have people who used to borrow clothes, borrow bags, uh, borrow all sorts of stuff, borrow shoes. And... But when we were in the junior section, we used to look at those seniors and be like, "Ooh, that's cool. That's what. That's what." Not to know that they, even them, they borrow clothes. <laughs> guys people borrow clothes at school it's not it's not cool okay guys yeah share clothes other people share all sorts of stuff but it's not really advisable to share clothes i mean <laughs> don't share clothes with people man unless maybe you guys are really close and stuff but people used to borrow clothes first come to me question i'm asking for clothes i used to stings like no there's no way can be flexing my clothes maybe I'm not looking nice if then you start looking nice that's that's a lie <laughs> Lie. Don't be fake in body. Number two, you guys, you guys should be get ready for hunger and starvation because boarding school. Very few people manage to get out of boarding school scot free one day without facing hunger. That's very difficult. And then we go three to two trunks, yo. But some of us who are trunks, you no, know, I had one trunk. And guys, we used to call the starvation period month of Ramadan. Yes, you know, you know, Jamaica, that poco de what what starvation period and stuff like that. But we used to at Kenya school month of Ramadan, where everything in your food, in your trunk is done, even the sugar and the soap is done. Oh, <laughs> yo, 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 yo. When you're going to boarding, don't finish your food as if it's chan. Oh, <laughs> and so there are those times when you think your parents are going to come for visiting, but they don't come. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. But this school is wilding. It's really wilding. And so when the starvation period reports are fighting for beans at the dining hall, oh, boys to fight. Some of you, your, <laughs> your exes, your, your babes. This wasn't things, it wasn't things only when it came to food. Food, guys, food. <laughs> okay, so number three, something that I experienced in school was teacher hatred. Okay, some teachers hated us, uh, other teachers loved us, other teachers used to be bullies, other teachers used to, other teachers used to bully pupils, you know, they used to torture them with mental torture. Um. You get something, he marks something correct. I'm sure a lot of people have experiences. A teacher marks something correct for each, uh, for a friend, then for you it's wrong. And then you'll be like, what the hell did I do wrong? Then the teacher will be like, no, I don't have time to start correcting these marks and stuff like that. So you just start experiencing that kind of hatred for the teacher. <laughs> people used to do all sorts of crazy things to teachers. I'm telling you, all sorts of crazy things. People used to steal the light bulbs at home. People used to damage the garden. <laughs> And also one thing about body, if you're going to go to body, people beat, people beat, people beat, guys, people beat. If you can't beat, don't be talkative, don't be pompous, people can beat the hell out of you. <laughs> I've watched all sorts of fights, you know, and people say class fights are the most entertaining fights. You have watched fights, I've watched all sorts of beatings and all sorts of guys, people beat. <laughs> and just one thing. If you're going to go to boarding, always play it safe. Um I've watched a lot of accidents happen in front of me. 
yeah like a lot of heinous not even a lot of crazy accidents actually i've seen people's bones coming out of their body kind of accidents and it's not something new guys would want to see those those these people those those, those guys who used to uh, they used to play football from our pitch. We had three pitches at Kenesha's, by the way. <laughs> we had three pitches. So, the church pitch, so the people are playing football from there. I think that was in grade, uh, was it grade 10 or grade 9? I, I can't remember. But for these guys who are playing soccer, then, I don't know what happened. The other, the other guy broke his leg. Then the bone came out of his body like that. It was so disgusting and so painful. You could see the pain in the guy's eyes. I mean, who would want something like that to happen to them? Like, so if you're going to if you're going to go to boarding, please play it safe. Play it safe. Be safe. You know. And we also used to have uh, before CC opening. CC opening is like a time when Kenesha is open to all sorts of games. All sorts of schools in Southern Province come to play games at Kenesha Secondary School. So it's so fun and it's so fun the game. So like um weeks before. Uh, since it's in term one, so in term one we go for cross country. Okay, I don't know how many kilometers were those, eh? Cause mm, guys, <laughs> we used to run. That was cross country. I'm telling not you guys who do cross country around the football pitch. We used to go for. Uh, that was not the joke because that was sprinting. That was that was sprinting. Yes, those are not jokes. That was sprinting because cadets just behind us, you know, with whips and stuff like that. So they used to. <laughs> running kilometers you know we go around the whole community and then get back into school then we go around the football pitch that's when we can now we just our name so cross country was stressful it was stressful believe me it was stress you're gonna stress yo you're gonna stress in body and you're going to go to body prepare yourself mentally for anything because if you're going to go to body and you haven't prepared yourself mentally for any sort of any kind of torture because it's going to be mental torture in body people are going to push you to the limit let it be teachers let it be your best friend let it be all sorts of things just things that's going to push you to the limit you're going to get mocked and mockery is something you can't run away from you believe me i've tried mockery is something you can't run away from i tried distancing myself what mockery criticism you're going to face these two things and if you like if you're someone if you're someone like me, if you like to do things differently, because I wouldn't be surprised someone's coming weird because I don't like doing the same things that people have done over and over and over. I hate following custom. Yeah, some of you might think it's a bad thing, but I hate following custom. I hate following the way people used to do things in the past. I want to find my own route. I mean, so if you like doing things differently, Prepare to be criticized. If you like doing, if you like being different, prepare to be criticized. If you are smart, generally, <laughs> prepare to be criticized. And if you are dumb, okay, don't make yourself dumb because people are going to make fun of you and people are going to call you all sorts of dumb names. You know, <laughs> if you're going to go to boarding, even if you don't know what you're doing, play the part. Fake it till you make it. Don't be fake, but fake it till you make it. I don't know if. I don't know if I'm preaching, you know, I don't know if I'm preaching to someone, yo. Fake it till you make it feel embodied. You're supposed to learn to survive. Body will teach you how to survive. It will teach you how to be sneaky. And that's the truth. I'm not going to hide. It taught me how to be sneaky. It taught you, it can teach you how to do things um, secretly without people actually finding out. <laughs> I won't say much about that because I don't want organizations following me. I mean, question what are you talking about? I don't know anything. Boarding, you guys, boarding has got all sorts of temptations. Temptations. <laughs> boarding has got temptations. You feel like stealing. And we are human. I've stolen before. And I've stolen a lot of stuff, yo. I've stolen a lot of stuff. I've stolen food, I've stolen spoons, I've stolen. Pens, ah, pens. I don't even think that's stealing. I think we used to share because in class, and one thing about Kenisha, you can't go to Kenisha the spoon and expect to come back with it. That's a lie. You go back home with a different spoon. <laughs> ah, guys, they have, they have this and that just to like go around the whole school, you know, just to go around. People used to steal taffies, like butter taffies. 
I remember them when I went for jets, then someone stole my shoes, then I found them later with them, then I bulleted their money in front take them off. There's no way they steal shoes from me. That's a lie. I didn't even take them off just there and I put them on and they went to the dorms barefoot. If you're going to good bodies, you're supposed to learn to toughen up. You're supposed to have inner leather skin, yo. Inner leather skin. Don't be a crybaby. Crybabies don't go anywhere in body. I know that those people who are going to go to body in all innocence and stuff, but let them come out in great love and you see how changed they come out. They come out savages. <laughs> okay, so this is it for today's episode. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to comment. Tell me what you think of this video, and don't forget to tell your friends. If you like this video, call your friends, tell them about, um, you know, if you like this video, tell them about this video. Tell your exes, tell your friends, tell your auntie, tell your mother, tell your brothers. Preach! Spread the word. Spread the link. And if you want to send me a cool video, if you think you've done a cool TikTok, a cool video, or a shout out to me, or if there's a message you want to give me, and you just want it to be displayed in my channel, send it to this email right here. Send it to this email. And if it's cool enough, I'll show it to the screen. Peace, yo. Don't forget to subscribe.